Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about one of our latest arrivals, a 1966 True SS Chevelle Supersport. Give you the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in the town of Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, you would like to watch this entire video from start to finish for several reasons. Number one, it gives you great details. We do a cold start, a walk around. You can get more of the details of this really, truly remarkable car. Uh, the muscle car era in the mid-60s was all about big blocks, whatever. Uh, you can find all of our stuff, including this new edition, at our website at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com because if you're looking for that muscle car, you want that Chevrolet big block, and you want a true SS, we have it right here in stock. It is a true 138 car, and you go, well, what's a 130? Well, they had 136 cars and 138 cars, being the 138 was a true SS. It was even signified in the VIN number, and this one does actually have that. Like I said, 396 big block, four barrel. Uh, this car actually even has power steering, which many of us drag race guys back in this era, we didn't need that power steering because all we did is we drove very straight and fast. But in this day and age, kind of a nice thing to have on any of these old cars. Now it's also got disc brakes in the front, so that's also a very helpful manner because you know when you stop after going down the quarter mile at 100 and some miles an hour, yeah, it's kind of always nice to stop. Uh, beautiful regal red, which is, by the way, its original color for this car, as well as the interior was also correct. The black bucket seats with the center console and the black uh, headliner and door panels. That is the way this car actually came from the factory. Uh, we take a look at it. It's got some really beautiful aftermarket uh, polished aluminum wheels with radial tires, of course. Radial tires being one of the biggest improvements in all these old cars. Uh, take a look at those back tires. They're actually the cheater slick version. So this uh, this is a car that was meant to be a good street killer out there. This is this if you're looking for one of those, this is neat. And I didn't even mention it is a four speed. That is one of the biggest things that we find in the collector car world. Lots of people want to have that four speed. Go back to the days of your youth when you went through the gears or you did the quarter mile or you were uh, a king of the street or in my case, I was king of my high school. I had the fastest car in the school parking lot. That was a big deal back in the uh, early 70s. Uh, like I said, beautiful paint all the way around, nice chrome. Of course, it has the uh, badges on the front here with the 396 telling you this car meant for business. Uh, take a look at the inside of this car. Like I said, very, very original bucket seats. Center console has a few aftermarket gauges, which are helpful for in this day and age to keep track to how your engine is performing. Tachometer, of course. You got to be able to watch that uh, shift points that you want to use. Looks like it has its original AM radio. Uh, nice interior all the way around. Oh, I really like this. That four speed just, just intrigues me. I guess that's what it is. Beautiful paint, dual exhaust, of course, on an SS. Uh, it is just one of those cars that was just, just in the, in the time, it was one of those cars that all the muscle car guys kind of feared because this was, a, this was a pretty quick, potent little car that Chevrolet had introduced. So it's really, really nice. Of course, like I said, it's an SS true one, even with the SS hood, which, you know, that's another thing that you could spot when you pulled next to somebody, took a look over and go, ooh, well, I got to be careful. Maybe I don't want to run this guy today. Don't want to lose my pink slip, as they would say. Uh, and by the way, California license or title cards back in the day actually were pink. So that I didn't know that to just a few years back that they actually were on pink paper. So that's where that uh, phrase came from. Uh, now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We'd appreciate it because you're going to find information on this car, all of the rest of our inventory, and a lot of our inventory that has been sold. And it's just one of those things that's, you know, you, if you have time on the internet and you're uh, looking for something to do, you can do it 24 hours a day. You can look at all our interesting stuff. Now, this car has got a very nice underside as well, nicely detailed, beautiful exhaust system. As I said, dual exhaust, nice trunk as well. You can get at least several sets of golf clubs in there if that's what you wanted to do, but it's got plenty of room in the trunk. 
Uh, it's just one of those cars. The muscle cars are still very, very popular. We all want to go back and relive our youth. Maybe it was your dream car that you always wished you could have had. Well, guess what? We've got one right here on the floor at Ellingson's. And you can come down and personally take a look at it if you'd like. We are open to the public from Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays as well from 10 to 4. So if you're like me, you like to come down, touch the car, make sure it's a real, real McCoy, I would be happy to have you come down and tell you the whole story and let you look around. So yeah, come on down to Ellingson's. We've got lots of interesting cars, this being one of our latest acquisitions. Don't wait too long in this one. To find a big block four-speed SS in this condition is pretty tough, getting kind of hard to do these days to find a good one, and we got a good one right here. So if you're looking for one of those, come on down. We will see you next time.